plan is now is to stick this stuff which is called armor flex and it's a waterproof heat resistant insulation it's a closed cell so it won't absorb any water at all this is half inch or 13 mil with a, um, a sticky mesh on the back which is really effective <laughs> Trusty Barco scraper to the rescue again. Okay, the first two bits on. A little bit of a gap at the top there, which we can fill. Put the rest in. I'm not filming while we're putting the carpet on because it's a right difficult job and this is the first bit we've done which is one of the most tricky bits that butts up against the, uh, the window I'm quite pleased with that so far ok here's the uh, second piece see a little insert expertly cut Looking good. And here's uh, the side bit. Well, as well. The next bit is going to be this across the back. And it should start taking shape. Um, this is the stuff that we're using to uh, adhere the carpet. Trim spray, high heat resistant adhesive. Armour flexed uh, underneath the kitchen area and now we're doing this bit. Just a word on armour flex. I've obviously cut that bit and popped it in there to make sure it fits. Now on the back we've got this strip. So I just unseal the strip and there's uh, a layer of sticky glue on which is excellent. It's much easier doing this than spraying it with glue. Okay, I've taken the carpet off the front and I'm going to scrape all this stuff off now to get uh, a nice clean surface and then the armor flex just like that and we'll complete the rest of it. You can see this hatch is now bare aluminium, we're actually nitromorsed all the uh, paint off it. All the cleaning's done, and this bit of fiberglass is the last bit of the belt left to insulate with Armour Flex. Um, because the Armour Flex has got a sticky back to it, as you can see, but because it's going to be hanging upside down, I'm going to use 
the um, trim spray, high heat resistance. Okay, this is a start. Uh, this, this has been stuck on, and um, this is the next bit. So, what I'm going to do is glue first. Dry a few seconds. I can't do it with one hand on the camera. So now I'll stick that sticky bit down and work it its way back. Here we are. Okay, just put another piece up there now. And the next one I'm gonna do is on that side. To get the main bulk of the roof done tonight. Here's what I've done. Just finishing off under the window. And I've got this piece, which is going to go in there. Although it's got a sticky underside on this. For the bits that are more or less upside down, I'm also putting a layer of glue on as well. This is the front cabin of the boat, which is now being insulated. All the insulation's in, ready for the carpet. I've left this bit clear, where this beam is, just to give the carpet something to stick to and where the Houdini hatch is I've left some fiberglass around the window just a small amount just to uh, adhere the carpet to so it'll stick better so there is a slight amount of fiberglass that's not insulated but very little and it's, um, it's a real hot day today and it's lovely and cool in here, which uh, it definitely wouldn't be like that without the insulation. Okay, we'll just put the first bit of new carpet on around the window. Okay, that skillful piece of carpet cutting was done by my wife. I can't take any credit for that. It's uh, looking pretty good now. Okay, we started carpeting the shelves now, this bottom bit. And what we've done is we had an overlap in this piece of carpet. We put an additional pieces of carpet and then to make sure it's flat and then the top layer of carpet will go on. The good thing about that also is that we're going to raise the mattress level up to the new foam mattress. So there's additional room here that you might want to put your feet on. And because there's armor flex on two layers of carpet, it means it's nice and spongy for your feet. Finally, after a lot of hard work, this area is now fully carpeted. Nice cozy. Put the shelves back in. 